Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, RockAuto.com, State Farm, and WeatherTech. There was a time when the image of the Volkswagen Microbus was tightly linked with the 60s counterculture. It was a vehicle for young people with more hair than money. They were frequently seen crisscrossing the nation, packed full of hippies in search of their next psychedelic experience. But those hippies grew up, and so did the Volkswagen bus. It became the Vanagon, and evolved into a conservative family hauler. But the vehicle that could have started the minivan boom didn't, and it was passed by by both American and Japanese competitors. Well, now it's back, and it has another new name. It's now called the Volkswagen Eurovan. And let's see if it's finally caught up with the modern world. The folks at Volkswagen are the first to admit that their new Eurovan isn't a minivan. They call it a mid-size van, or MIDI. At first glance, the Eurovan's MIDI size overwhelms you, especially at 75.6 inch height. But it's actually shorter than many minivans and station wagons. Although the Eurovan is a completely new design inside and out, there's no mistaking it for anything other than a Volkswagen. Front end styling is more up to date. The raked windshield and sloping front end provide much improved aerodynamics and stability in windy conditions. You'll notice the Eurovan's bus-like height the most at the back, where the huge tailgate carries the only model identification. The Eurovan's huge interior is attractive and comfortable. The dash is straightforward and very VW. There is no airbag. The cloth-covered bucket seats give good support, but are a bit firm, especially for long trips. Our biggest complaint was the non-adjustable steering wheel, which would make Ralph Cramden feel right at home. Yet all other controls are well-marked and within the driver's reach. Dual heat and non-CFC air conditioning systems are standard on all Eurovans. They do their job well as did our MV's optional AM-FM stereo cassette premium sound system. The MV is the most unique Eurovan, with two rear-facing bucket seats, a fold-out table, and a rear bench seat that converts to a two-person bed. Cup holders, storage bins, and air vents seem to be everywhere. The rear buckets are removable, but also fold up out of the way enough to allow the seat-to-bed conversion, which only takes one person a few minutes to accomplish. The MV can also be ordered with the optional Weekender package, complete with Westphalia pop-up roof. More storage compartments are found behind the third seat, which also can be removed, creating a cavernous 201 cubic feet of cargo space. If you expected to see the engine back here, try the other end. Surprise, the Eurovan is VW's first front-wheel drive van. Under the short hood lies a transverse mounted 2.5 liter five cylinder fuel injected engine that develops 109 horsepower and 140 pound feet of torque. And torque is what this gasoline engine is all about, producing the maximum at only 2200 RPM and virtually maintaining it up to the 4000 range. While the load gearing gives real bite off the line, getting the 4200 pound Eurovan MV up to speed isn't easy. Our best zero to 60 time was an even 14 seconds. The quarter mile took a leisurely 19.6 seconds, terminating at only 70 miles per hour. Standard on all three Eurovan models is a conservatively geared five-speed manual transmission with an optional electronic four-speed automatic available. Our staff was divided on the feel of the five-speed shifter. Some found it acceptable, others thought it rubbery with long throws. But the engine's broad torque curve keeps what power there is coming on smoothly. Eurovan is the only van on the market with independent suspension on all four wheels, and it helped it negotiate our slalom. The tall Eurovan leaned over a good bit during our emergency lane change, but recovered well and stayed where it was pointed, with more stability than we'd expected. In our panic stop test, the Eurovan standard brakes were a bit disappointing and locked easily. Stops from 60 miles per hour took a long average of 144 feet, but pedal feel was firm. VW's standard load sensing brake system is designed to optimize brake pressure under heavy loads or hard driving, but we'd still recommend the anti-lock option. EPA mileage estimates are 17 city and 21 highway on our five-speed van. Our very mixed test loop returned a minivan-like 19 miles per gallon. 
So how much will this MIDI package of uniqueness set you back? Eurovan prices start at $16,640 for the base CL, up to $21,850 for the top-of-the-line MV. Our optioned-up test van came to $23,275. That's less than many well-equipped minivans. Volkswagen didn't set out to start a new trend with the mid-size Eurovan, rather to give generations of microbus and Bannigan buyers a more hip replacement. But we do think there is an additional crowd of potential Eurovan buyers that is outgrowing minivans and yet is repulsed at the thought of driving full-size vans or wagons. For them, the Eurovan may be both more practical and more socially acceptable. If you fit that label, then this bus is for you. Thank <laughs> you.